What's going on jumpers? This jump rope tutorial is gonna cover the no swing mick. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a vertical release right after an open jump without a swing before it. I'm gonna give you the main tips, some things to avoid, and an actual progression to help you learn this skill. If your goal is to be an efficient jumper, to continually level up your skills over time, then this is the tutorial for you. All right, let's get into it. Before doing this skill, you should definitely have a very strong standard mic release. And if you've practiced a basic floater release before, it'll definitely help to learn the timing of the no swing mic, but you don't have to do that before trying this skill. Now the timing for this skill is really important, but before we get into that, just a heads up that you should go check out Nateflix over on my website. There's over 400 freestyle combos for you to try with all sorts of skills, including the no swing mic, and it's completely free. Okay, with that being said, let's get back into the timing for this skill. You wanna release the handle as the rope is passing by your head, but before the rope starts to move down. You should do a few single unders before you let go of the handle at the same pace of your normal jumping. This skill is very snappy, so you'll likely speed the rope up a little bit, but you wanna keep your jumping speed as even as possible. Ideally, you want the rope to be next to your body with the vertical release happening in the same position that it would for a standard mic. But in reality, the rope might be a little bit diagonal, especially as you're first learning this skill. Your turning hand will likely raise up much higher compared to a normal mic, but you still wanna keep it to about shoulder height and make sure that it returns to your waist as you're catching the rope. Let's talk about a few things to avoid during the no swing mic. The first is to not let go when the rope is behind your back. If you do that, the rope's gonna launch in a very weird direction. You also don't wanna push your turning hand straight forward and then hold it there. That makes it very hard to get the rope back to a neutral position. Avoid bringing your turning hand down too low as you've let go of the handle and don't let go when the rope is in front of your body. The rope will likely just go straight to the ground. It'll be very hard to recover from there. And also, this is a big one, don't accidentally add a swing right before the mic. Now this typically happens if you've waited too long to let go of the handle. It's very easy to accidentally put a swing before this release, especially if you're used to doing a regular mic. Letting go at the right time will help you avoid this and you'll feel a massive difference between the two. Now the last main thing to avoid is to not jump too slowly before doing a no swing mic. If you're jumping very slowly and then you suddenly try to speed up the rope aggressively, you're likely gonna throw off the shape of the rope, making it very, very hard to catch. All right, let's talk about an actual progression to help you learn the no swing mic. The first step is to do a regular single under then do the release standing and then catch it into an open toe catch. Approach this step very slowly. Let go of the rope at different points of the rotation as you repeat the drill. Many of these will not work, but you want to develop an awareness of when you're actually releasing the rope and understanding how that affects the vertical rotation. The next step is to do one single under, a standing release, catch it into a single under and then a toe catch. You wanna keep tension on the rope, but you don't wanna speed through this step. The third step is to do a single under, a jumping release, another single under, and then a toe catch. This is the same drill as before, but now you wanna bound during the release. Remember to only do the exact jumps in this drill. It's very important to just do one single, one jumping release, one single, and the toe catch. Doing it this way makes it a lot easier to pay attention to what's going on, and again, to develop the awareness of how this skill actually works. The last step to practice this drill is three single unders, a no swing mic, and then catching it into a single under, but practicing this at different speeds. Once you can do the no swing mic at an easy pace, you wanna test out different speeds of doing it. By doing exactly three singles, you can start to increase the speed each time you try this step. After you've done this very quickly, go back to trying it, but at a much slower pace. The point of doing this is to constantly test and practice how the no swing mic feels at different speeds. That way you can be ready to integrate it into as many combos as possible. If this tutorial helped you with the no swing mic, send it off to a friend that you think might also enjoy it. If you want more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there are a lot more coming in the future. If you have any questions at all, just drop a comment down below or hit me up over on Instagram at Nate underscore KG. All right, I'll see you in the next Jump Rope Skill tutorial.